Well, this morning we are looking into the new COVID-19 variants that are starting to spread around the country. Health officials are tracking them as we head into the summer months. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott spoke to local doctors about this. She joins us right now in the studio breaking down what you need to know about it. Hey, Larissa. Hey, good morning, James and Dia. Experts tell me they're watching these variants to see if they could spark a new summer wave of cases. We know there's a new out, uh, there's a new variant. Flirt variants make up a new group of COVID-19 mutations that are offshoots of the JN.1 variant, which has been the dominant strain in the U.S. for months, all part of the larger Omicron family. That name just came from uh, a chance, you know, it's just some amino, amino acid changes where the mutations fit, your F became L and your R became T. And it just led itself to becoming flirt. Health experts say these mutations aren't surprising and have told us we'll likely continue to see them even if COVID-19 doesn't seem as prevalent. It hasn't gone away um, and, and it's not going to. Uh, it's going to continue to mutate to stay active. Health officials are closely tracking these new flirt variants because right now COVID-19 levels are some of the lowest they've been in the U.S. since the start of the pandemic. Well, we haven't seen the uptick, so there's no way it's happening yet. But that could change as this new group of mutations might threaten that. Experts believe it's possible they could be responsible for some kind of spike this summer, although they're not sure exactly how big it will be. I won't be surprised if we see a bit of a bump in the cases during the summer. According to the latest CDC data, one of the flirt variants, KP.2, is already making up more than a quarter of cases in the country. Now, this comes at a time of year when vaccine advisors work to fine tune the new COVID-19 booster shot for the fall. The FDA has postponed its May meeting to wait and see which of the flirt variants should be included in the formula before it's finalized. The vaccine is, is easy to actually change. And so if it turns out that this actually Actually does become a major player. Uh, the vaccines and especially what we do in the fall can actually answer that and it can change along with the variants that are coming out. And it's been several months since people got their last booster shot. Some studies show these flirt mutations could be more contagious. So doctors say you should test yourself if you notice any COVID-19 symptoms.